and welcome to another episode of Growing Your Own Food. I'm here at the main garden checking on the turnips and the tomatoes and the collard greens and the other pineapple plants that I um, planted. So this is how these turnip greens kind of went over here. You know, <laughs> I still got hope because they kind of, oops, because they kind of sprung back. They sprung back on another time it kind of fluffed up. So it's, it's rained and this is how they be after that. So collard greens looking good. The two pineapples over here. Well, three actually. Three collards along with the onions. This pineapple plant is still going and I don't even water it or nothing. It still produces. I was thinking to take it out of there, but I mean, you know, sometimes when things ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Tomato plants are looking very, very healthy. I like it. All of that, turnip greens, turnip greens, and a few onions are in here as well, too. More turnip greens with the tomato plant that's got little tomatoes on it. And um, I think all of them, no, well, yeah, I think all of them have little tomatoes on them. And, uh, yep. So, ooh, check it out. Got the pineapple plant beginning to blossom. Can't really see it too well because there's pollen in there and debris. My other two pineapple plants that are doing great. And we got the collards over here. With the onions in between still. I thought these were tomatoes. Child, these are some weeds. So I picked, I've been thinning them out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant carrots to take that space. Because I know they're going to keep coming back. So I, I have to put something to fill that that space. I think I want to um, plant carrots. I think they'll be perfect right there. Let's go around. Oh! And we have our other pineapple plant blossoming. And these were also laid down like when I showed you the first set of turnips that were kind of smushed down. These were smushed down too after it rained, but they popped back up. So that's why I say um, the other little section where I have the turnips that are like smushed down. Um... They may come back, you know. The marigold, mustard, I'm sorry, not mustard, collard green. Yeah. So that's what I got going on. Another marigold. There's some turnips right here. They're still hanging on. Aloe. Let's check and see if this other pineapple plant. Oh, it looks like it's going to. Well, I don't know. We're going to have to give it a little bit more time and see. Might be just some pollen down up in there that I see. Yeah. So, okay. Let me show you the other spot that I'm renovating. Because I don't want it to be like a surprise. I've been working on it for like the last week on and off. Just doing a little bit. Not a lot. And, um... And then, so we have green beans climbing the fence, and I'm gonna train it to climb the fence. Okay, so let's step back and see the area, right? So, everywhere where you see leaves, okay, and you see the hole in the middle, I pretty much it was kind of elevated right there. 
and um, I decided to dig the dirt out of that area J just because of how the way it's kind of shaped up in here I wanted a pathway to come in where I'm not um, having to step on anything so that's what I'm doing and I'm bordering around as you can see because I do want to use this space all up by the fence to run cucumbers or beans or whatever vining uh, plant and um, you know I'm gonna take it around you know and I'm gonna actually have more where it connects where it's kind of like a circle when you come in here and then um, I don't know I haven't gotten that far yet but I do know I want it when I walk in as you seen, you walk in and you can kind of do this pan and you pan around and everything is you know going around you instead of you having to step over anything so okay cool just wanted to show you guys that and yeah so until the next time peace